So welcome everyone and thank you for joining this OER course walkthrough for College Algebra and other math courses in Lumen's Online Homework Manager. This webinar is actually the first in a series this week to walk VCCS faculty and staff through some of Lumen's most frequently requested OER courses. I'm the Director of Teaching and Learning with Lumen and we're also joined here today by Allison Day, our math course design lead, to walk us through our open math solution. Allison actually comes to us from Washington State University in Vancouver, where she was a math instructor and also director of the Quantitative Skills Center. So she'll show us around OHM and explain more about really several OER math courses that are available and ready for you to adopt. So Allison, thank you for being here. And also a quick thanks to VCCS for helping us get these webinars up and rolling. We are recording this session for uh, many who are interested but unable to attend. And so you know ahead of time, we'll stop the recording at the end before the Q&A so we can be a little more informal with the conversation. So that said, if you have questions or comments, you can either save them or type them in the chat box and then we'll hit as many as we can during the scheduled Q&A at the end. So without further ado, before I pass the ball over to Allison for a dive into OER for math, let me provide some quick context on why open educational resources matter. So cost savings, day one access, and the ability for you as the faculty member to control the content, meaning to edit it, to keep it, freely share it, those are just a few reasons to choose OER. We now know that effectively delivered open materials have also been proven to improve student learning outcomes. So if you're interested in that and want to learn more or view some of the more current research behind recent efforts, you can see all that on lumenlearning.com. Um, suffice it to say, OER is a decision that's directly in your control as a faculty member. And when you choose OER, you directly and individually affect issues of affordability, access, and success for your students, and that's pretty empowering. So VCCS has partnered with Lumen Learning to help ease your transition to OER. It's our job to curate the highest quality open content, deliver it through a secure platform that integrates with Blackboard and your Blackboard Grade Center, and to help you be successful by providing course design, implementation, and ongoing support as you use OER in your class. And that's part of my role. My background is in ed tech and instructional design. And I'm really thankful for the opportunity to be here and to work directly with you and your colleagues. So thanks for coming today. As you may be aware, the partnership between Lumen Learning and BCCS allows faculty to adopt any of the three OER course types you see here, Candela, Waymaker, and OM, the math solution we're checking out today. Each of these provides options for a number of course areas, and at the end of the presentation, we'll take time to show you how you can get your own copies, they're ready to go, uh, for use this fall and beyond. I want to briefly explain what each of these course types entails, and then introduce Allison for a deep dive into OM. Lumen's Candela courses are pretty much what most VCCS faculty are most familiar with. These are a great starting point for people who just need a basic e-text replacement and faculty resources like quiz banks, PowerPoint, assessments, etc. And of course, because all the content is openly licensed, you as a faculty member, you can edit it, mix it, keep it, reuse it, distribute it, just as you see fit. Lumen's Waymaker courses take the OER content of Candela to the next level by layering in a personalized learning approach and some really cool <laughs> faculty messaging tools. So these tools include totally customizable automated messages that help you not only identify and reach out to your students that are struggling, but also to reward the ones that are working hard to be successful in your course. It's pretty neat. So if you're interested in learning more about Candela or Waymaker, you might want to tune into some of our other webinars this week. We'll be taking a deep dive into all these things. So now to what we're here for today, the Lumen Online Homework Manager, or OM. OM is a math and quantitatively geared OER solution that you'll find really similar to the systems provided by major publishers. OM actually grew from the need for a more reliable, secure, enterprise-level system based on the open solution MyOpenMath, which Lumen continues to maintain. Inside the 12 courses we have currently curated, you're going to find an e-text, algorithmically driven practice problems, videos, assessments, and other instructional content. And of course, faculty using OM, they also benefit from Lumen's support and the reliability and accessibility that you'd expect from an enterprise learning system. 
So as I mentioned, here to walk us through OWN is Mathematics Course Design Lead, Allison Day. Thanks, Allison. And so Allison joined Lumen in January of 2015. And before that, like I said, she held dual roles at Washington State University in Vancouver. She's a math instructor and also director of the Quantitative Skills Center. Allison started teaching with My Open Math, and she's been instrumental in the development of OWM and its integration with major LMSs like Blackboard. She's also been key in establishing best practices for teaching with OWM through an LMS. So suffice it to say, Allison, I know you know this stuff inside and out, and we're thankful for your expertise. Thanks for being here today, and I will turn the floor over to you. Awesome. Thanks for that introduction and the information about OER and, and OWM. Um, I know there's a lot of faculty at BCCF who use um, My Open Math, and they'll be excited, I think, to see some of the good changes and the um, security enhancements that we have made with OM and and um, the the flexibility that we will have moving forward with really customizing the the um, features in OM to the needs of of the, the faculty who are using it. So it's, I'm excited to be able to share to share the new changes in the new platform. Um, with, with faculty at, at BCCS. So I'm going to start to um, get things together so that I can share my screen. And what I'll do today is um, walk through um, the, the course materials that we have for college algebra um, as they are seen and, and, and interacted with by faculty in, in Blackboard. So um, the, the Lumen Learning um, College Algebra course that we've recently developed is based on um, the OpenStax College Algebra course. Um, the lead author of that is Jay Abramson from Arizona State University, I believe. Um, and it's, uh, the OpenStax uh, College Algebra has been pretty widely adopted and it's very comprehensive in terms of learning outcomes um, with a very comprehensive uh, review of algebra that starts off the course and includes um, topics such as um, conic sections, um, systems of equations, and some probability and sequences um, at the end of the course. In, in addition to all the very typical things that you would find in college algebra um, about functions in their graph. Um, so to, to lead off, um, I will talk um, a little bit about, let's open up uh, one, of the, one of the modules here. So in each chapter of this course, um, what we've done is we've taken the source text from OpenStack. And our goal with this course really was to create enhancements to the text. So the text is comprehensive. It has everything that most people need in terms of content for teaching. What we wanted to do was create um, a full set of interactive um, uh, activities, and we paired, uh, we partnered with Desmos to do that. So in the text itself, um, students will find opportunities to interact with graphs and um, get prompts um, in order to, to learn the material through, um, through doing rather than through reading. Um, so that's one of the features that we're really excited to share. Um, and, I'll, and I'll show you um, as we move through the, the demo. Additionally, there, for each chapter, there's um, at least three sets of practice problems, and as well as a pretest for each um, chapter that kind of will allow faculty, if they want, to kind of get an idea of what students may already know about this content or you know, also help students kind of get a feel for, you know, here's what we're going to be learning. Maybe I already know these things, and maybe they can target their studies. Um, each, of the, each of the homework assignments, the practice assignments, the pretest, and then there's a quiz at the end or you know, a culminating summative assessment at the end of each chapter as well. These are all generated um, in our own platform and have the customized um, the, the customization um, available that the same kinds of tools that, that um, were available in my open math. So if, if someone at BCCSA faculty who have been using my open math for quite a while, you already have you know problem sets that you really like or maybe you have additional things that you want to add to the course, this, this course can be customized. Um, there's 
you know, lots of ways to change the questions individually or add or remove. So on a, on a you know, kind of individual assessment level, there's a lot of customization that can happen. Um, so students still get the, um, the nice features of being able to know right away how well they did on, um, on each problem. And with the, with the integration in Blackboard, the information on um, how well the students did, the grades are passed back to Blackboard. And faculty can also, through this LTI home, see all of the information that they would typically be able to see in um, OM and MyOpenMath um, in terms of gradebook information. So they can see how each student did on the questions in each um, assessment, and they can um, get right to their full gradebook for the course and access all of the gradebook settings that are in OM right from Blackboard. So we'll go back into the module. So kind of a, that, you know, a big overview of some of the basic features. Um, each, each chapter also includes um, the, the OpenStax text that we have enhanced with um, some re little bit of reorganization. Each, each chapter starts off with a kind of a hook, uh, why it matters, that is, um, is meant to draw students in, ask them a question that um, at the end of the chapter will be answered. And the question is really about how do we use the concepts that we're going to learn in this chapter in kind of, if you will, re a real world setting. Um, so so each, each chapter has a, a, why does this matter? Why should I care about this? Um, and at the end of the chapter, answers the question. So um, and each page of text um, includes um, accessible um, rendered maps. So screen readers um, do really well. This is rendered with MathJack. Um, so it's, it's got a really good um, accessibility feature. And each of the images in the text is also um, has alt text. So if you are concerned about that, um, it needs a high, a high standard of accessibility. Um, concepts are um, presented. Um, and typically, an example is given for each new concept. And then students are allowed um, and, and encouraged to to give one, to give it a try. So these problems are embedded questions from OM um, and are, again, if, if you really want to get down and dirty, you can customize these yourself as well. Um, so students can enter and answer and submit it, and they can know right away with, if, if I had answered that correctly, it would have a green box around it. And, and, and they are randomized, so students can um, keep trying them and see how they do. Additionally, each page of text contains some video support. So we have a mostly um, Gene Souza videos, who, if, if you're familiar with Miles and Math, he's got quite a bit of video resources available in some of the template courses um, in OM and Miles and Math. And um, we've embedded those on the page so the students can see a, a, um, an example of a similar problem being worked. Um, so each page contains those features. And additionally, after each page of text, students will have an opportunity to work through a problem set. And these problem sets have been carefully matched to the types of, of examples that are given in the text, so students don't feel like, oh my goodness, where does this even come from? And then the, the, the pre-tests and the quizzes at the end are also um, carefully matched to these problem sets. So the, the quiz will have very similar problems, um, all, most of them um, algorithmically generated, so each student is getting a unique version of the, of the problem. Um, and again, the number of problems and the types of problems that um, are available can be customized um, by each teacher depending on uh, the level of, of um, I guess, work and, and time that you want to put into it. 
So let's get into um, some of the, the Desmos features of this course. We're really excited to be able to um, pair with Desmos um, to, to create some interactive um, in activities in this course. Since College Algebra is typically a course that faculty will require or request that students um, purchase a graphing calculator. We thought, okay, wouldn't it be great to give students a low-cost text and course materials option in, and in addition to that, give them a low-cost, if not free, graphing calculator option. So Desmos is a beautiful, robust online graphing calculator with excellent accessibility features that um, we have um, embedded in, in the pages of text. So, for example, in this page of text, students are introduced to the standard form of quadratic functions and all of the different parts of the, the, the standard form of a quadratic function. And in this triad, which is generated with Desmos, they are encouraged to use these sliders to see what happens to the values of this function as they change as they change the value. So they can see what happens to the graph. They can see what happens to the different values of the function. And it directly relates to the concepts that are introduced right before it. So here's the general form. Here's the standard form. What does that even mean? Well, let's, let's, let's find out. And so students are often prompted, use the sliders, um, change the location of things, and then, and then they're usually asked to think about it. So now that you've done that, think about what you've done, or what is the new equation that would describe this? What is the resulting you know, line that, would, that you would get, or um, that type of thing? So students are given an opportunity to interact and, and use a graphing calculator without having to go buy one um, for $100 or $150. Um, so again, the, the um, text has examples and then um, opportunities for students to try problems. Here's another one where students can try the problem and submit it and see how, see how well they understand the concept. Um, and then here's another um, graphing calculator activity where students learn about how to transform the graph of a quadratic function, and they take each individual piece and see if I shift this value, what, does, what happens to the graph of this function, and then what happens to the equations of the function. So they're getting all of the pieces together, and rather than having to just read about what happens, they're able to interact with the, with the book and with the material to better understand the concept. And we, one of the reasons that we wanted to do this was that the research for in, uh, allowing students or providing opportunities for students to interact with content in this way is it, really, really stark, that, that, that there really is um, a much more effective um, learning result when, when students interact rather than just passively read or passively watch a video. Um, so we really were, were hoping to take a text, the Open Text College Algebra, that is widely used and, like I said, you know, has the learning outcomes there that most people need, and really enhance it in a way that we could try and you know, increase its effectiveness with, with, in, for um, learning outcomes, Provide a, and provide more value for students um, that are that are taking college algebra, since we know this is a course that are that is you know typically a course that students struggle with. Um, so we're really excited about those features, um, and maybe just to finish up really quickly here, I'll get into a couple more of the, the features of OM for those that that. Um, they aren't completely familiar with all of the features in OM. So um, I'm going to go back into um, kind of the, the OM uh, feature list here. Um, and 
venture the course. So if any of you have used my open math in the past, then you'll this will look familiar to you. What I what I um, and where I'm at right now is in the home page of of the instructor version of the course in Ohm. And I have access now to all of the features of Ohm that I can use to um, look at my roster or to um, my look at my grade book or to be able to um, maybe I want to add or remove questions. Maybe this pretest, I, I want to add in a certain kind of question. So I can go into that assessment and, and here's the questions that are in that assessment. Or maybe I think 20 questions is too many. And I can go ahead and remove the questions that I think um, are unnecessary. Or if I scroll down further, I can search our libraries, maybe I think it would be good for us to have a question on factoring. And so I can search the library from here. And remember, I'm still in Blackboard. So this is one of the nice features um, of, of the integrated platform, is being able to do the things you need to do to customize your course without having to leave Blackboard. You don't have to do a bunch of different logging in and logging out. Um, so uh, customizing assessments and w is with respect to removing and adding questions is absolutely possible. Um, if you need to move the content around in the LMS, we, we suggest you just move the content around in the LMS and, and not do those changes um, in, your, in your own course. Um, but all of the features um, that you would need to for teaching the course are right here at your fingertips, right from Blackboard. And we have great support um, in terms of, you know, if you've never taught with a course that's integrated in Blackboard, um, we have a lot of, of, of articles and people that know what they're talking about who can answer your questions and, and get everything set up um, so that you can teach your course that way. So I'm going to leave the demo at that. And um, kind of, I'm going to get back to the room and see if there's any questions. Great. Thank you, Allison, for that. Really appreciate it. I'm also going to throw up a uh, list of the courses and just maybe have you, if you have a few comments about this, this list as it's been developed of not only, you know, college algebra, which we've just looked at, but some of the other course options that are now available for VCCS faculty. Yeah, absolutely. So there's there's a, a few of the courses on this list that have the same kind of features that I just showed you in terms of the um, the uh, interactive features in the text. So the um, pre-algebra course, elementary and intermediate algebra courses, those all have the same kinds of text that are interactive. They have an embedded video and embedded try it. The math for liberal arts course is um, based on Diva Blitman's um, Math and Systems in Society text. And it also has an interactive text as well. It does not contain um, Desmos, but it does have the embedded try it problems and embedded video. Concepts and Statistics also has a high um, degree of um, interactive features in it. There's a, some, some different tools that have been created and put into that. So again, um, we took a widely used that course and really added some interactive features uh, for students in that one as well. Um, introductory statistics is based on the open stack. Finite math and business pre-calculus are, are um, they're there and they're available and they are on our roadmap for improvement. Um, so those are some, they're, they're still in a very basic, basic stage. And uh, calculus is, uh, is a a template course that's been in OWN for, for quite a while, so some of you may even be familiar with that material. Super. We're here to answer your questions and provide whatever support you need. Here are our email addresses on the screen. Quite easy, elizabeth at lumenlearning.com and then allison at lumenlearning.com. So save these and don't hesitate to reach out.